Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Today's video, I am hoping, really, really, really hoping to make it a short one. Um, <clears throat> it is the first time I've filmed in quite a while, honestly. But, so I already have my base on and my face makeup. But, I wanted to just really nothing new. Um, but I just wanted to put on some, um, drugstore eyeshadow. I have somewhere actually to run today. Anyway, here we are today. So this is what is on my face. I sprayed my face with some MAC Fix Plus, and then I put on the absolute probably last drop in this uh, Dew Drops Glow Recipe Niacinamide. What a, yeah, they are called Dew Drops. Um, I put a very, very tiny amount, just a little teeny tiny. Actually, the... Apparently, I can't use my words today. <laughs> this, you know, I just kind of dabbed on my face. Rubbed it in. Didn't feel greasy, you know, which means I was probably using too much at the time when I was kind of, you know, not really on board with it, but I used it all up. Anyway, for foundation, I actually, this, I'm really loving. Okay, well, for starters, the Lancome Tinty Doll, this is a favorite of mine. This is outrageously expensive. This is more than likely outrageously expired. But don't do as I do. But I absolutely love this foundation. Love it. I, it wears good. It really, really, really does. I will not repurchase this. I have too many foundations. So this will not be a repurchase unless it goes on sale, they discontinue it, and mark it way, way, way down. Then I will. But, the other day, I was just kind of messing around, and I had this stuff that I forgot about. This is the Revolution Glow Line. I guess this is Revolution Glow Line. It is the Beam Light Strobe Cream in bronze and i want to say that i got this it was drastically marked down on ulta and so i got it you know i was like well, we'll see what this is about and it comes off i have blush on my hands and my my um hand here is a little pink but it comes off like that and I mean, it is a highlighter. It is a strobe cream for sure. However, how I use it is I mix it in with a foundation. Game changer. Game changer. Um, and I've tried it, dotting my foundation on and kind of dotting a little bit of this, you know, in between. And that that does fine, but I really, really, really like it. Just completely mixed in. It just takes a very small amount, not even as much as I had put on my hand to show you guys. And it just is just so shiny and so, so pretty. So I like that. And it has a coconut suntan lotion-y scent to it. It is very heavily fragrant, fragranced, but it is not an unpleasant scent or an unpleasant fake scent. And this is coming from somebody that does not like coconut. Um, one of my favorite primers is a coconut. It's got coconut in the title, but this mixed in with this or some other of my foundations, if I have a foundation that's too light, this kind of boosts it up just a little bit. Really enjoyed these two. 
concealer, my good old um, Catrice True Skin, just a little bit. And for bronzer, I'm using the this W7 Bronze Chic Bronzing Balm. This is, in my opinion, a very, very comparable dupe to the very overpriced Chanel. This I will pick up before I do the Chanel. N not just um, because it's, e it's a whole lot easier to repurchase this than it is the Chanel, but I won't ever repurchase that. That is was a once in a lifetime me wanting to just embrace the bouginess. So I bought it and that's that. Won't well, again. I will not ever repurchase that. There are way too many things in the drugstore that just blow that out. The blush that I'm using is the um, cream br brush, cream blush from Ofront. This one is in the shade Devoted, and I have two more colors of this. And this, Ofra did send this to me. I did not purchase this. But, I'll swatch it right here. This is such a beautiful color. It blends so good. What I do is I dip my brush in. And then, that's why my, my hand is um was pink. I, I dip it in here. And then I pat it out on my hand, and then I go on my cheeks. Um, so, yeah, we'll get a little bit more of that glow up there. So, that's what's on my cheeks. And for highlighter, I pulled a good old favorite, which is Becca um, R.I.P. Champagne Pop. This one happened to be one of the special edition ones. It's got a champagne bottle embossed in it, but so that's what I used for that. And before I started, I put a little bit of this Lancome Juicy Tube just in the shade Marshmallow. Yeah, Marshmallow, just on my lips. Um, <clears throat> and I, I set my cream powder, I mean my cream blush with the Ofra Blushful Palette, and I used the shade Warrior, which was this shade. This has the protective cover over it, which was this shade, which I don't know how it's going to look on camera, but it it's a very similar tone. So, I just kind of very, very, very lightly, and I used a um, stipple brush, and I, I dipped in, patted out, and just kind of went very, very lightly over top because I did not set my entire face. I just used powder under my eyes, which was the um, Laura Mercy. I've already put it up. So, for the eyes, I want to just do something super simple, super simple. D duper simple. So I've got this wet and wild little qua or five pan in the shade Petalette. I think that's what it says. I don't even have my glasses up here. But it looks like this. And then I pick or I I've grabbed this palette, which is an elf palette that they have repackaged. This one happens to be the, oh God, I can't see it again. The Summer summer Breeze, I think. And I've seen several videos where they're saying that this is a dupe of one of the Makeup by Mario um, all matte palettes. I don't have anything by Mario, so, you know. So, I, I wanted to kind of dabble in this a little bit maybe in here, and pop a little shimmer on the lid, and I, I, well, grab two things. I grabbed some in one of my infallible, and 
a couple of ColourPop. I mean, the inability of me to make a choice, a serious choice and commit to it, you know, just don't happen. So, let's get started. My eyes are primed. I need to tell y'all what I primed my eyes with, did I? Nope, because I put it up. I used the Gerard Cosmetics, the blank canvas. Love that stuff. It has not been set, and it's been on my eyes for a good 30 minutes now. My This eye seems to want to water, Ugh. but the allergy medication seems to be helping a little bit. So these, see these colors just look the same to me. So many just, they just look very, very, a lot alike. So I'm going to go in with, actually, I'm going to start with this palette and I'm going to go in with this shade right there. I'm just going to pop this in this here crease. I hope everybody is having a great summer thus far. I hope that it has been eventful in a good way versus eventful in a bad way. Nobody likes that. I'm just kind of building this up a little bit. Like I said, I don't want to go for anything heavy, heavy. Now, I am going to follow that one up with I think I may put a little bit of this and then deepen it with that purple. And maybe that purple, just so you can kind of see where I'm going with this. So. I'm going to go ahead and do the lower, and I think I'm going to just go in and use that shade for the lower, and I'm just using, this is an Iconic London brush with a little, this is very dense. It's like a really thick um, pencil brush. I have a several pencil brushes, but... This one reminds me, there it is, of the Sigma E30 pencil brush, except it's just a little bit stiffer. <laughs> so, it's just, it, it stays where you put it. And this was actually gifted to me by a fellow content creator, El Negs. He gifted me uh, an, a whole set of eye brushes from Iconic London. If you are not following him, what are you waiting for? He is an absolute delight and is very instrumental in me even starting a channel. So, I will always be grateful for that. So, for shimmer, because I think this is really kind of all I'm going to do. Um, hmm, you know what? I've got this pinky, and I've got this. So, let's pop the color pop on first and see 
if it is something that is going, yeah, okay. I had to make sure it wasn't dried out. Okay, yeah, this is more of a set, what says satin, which is good. All right. Well, that's really pretty. Definitely not gonna go with the lipstick I picked out, but that's all right too, because I don't care if anybody else thinks, uh, it's what I think. What I am gonna do is take this dark, darker shade and just kind of pop it on the end. And I'm just grabbing a brush. This one is a, I think a Focal Allure brush. Yes. Double-sided brush. And I'm just going to kind of go over that a little bit. All right, I am going to do this eye, and then I will be back. All righty, guys, I have finished the other eye, and now, and I've curled my eyelashes. So now, let's put on some mascara. So we're going to keep with the Ofra theme, and this is the Ofra Your Best Lashes Yet. This is the waterproof version. Yes, waterproof, waterproof, waterproof in black. And this is what the tube looks like. I have tried this, and I do enjoy it. And this is what the wand looks like. This feels like you're putting nothing on your lashes, and it comes off like a breeze and I do not take my mascaras lightly because waterproof comes off of me so much easier than non-waterproof non options with the exception of one. I'll show you that. But for whatever reason, they it just works for me. And I, I've always used waterproof, even on the rare occasions that before I started, you know, playing in makeup. Because my eyes have watered for as long as I can remember and plus well, I got a little bit up there I'm a crier so I never wanted to be you know what you would see on TV with the mascara face um, so I just always had stuck to waterproof but I will say the do I have it up here? I do. The Lancome Grandiose Waterproof. It's the one that looks like very odd shaped. This. This is a wonderful mascara that I really do like and that I have repurchased. But only when it was on sale at 21 Days of Ulta. Okay? Okay. Um, because I think half off, it's maybe $12, $13. And that's kind of in line with some drugstore mascara. That, this mascara does not come off easy. But everything, all of my other ones do. So, so for lipstick, I am using the Bone Collector by Scarlet Darling Cosmetics. 
She is a fellow content creator. Super, super, super talented. An absolute sweetheart. We did a collab, a 90s collab that I will link in the description box. And she owns her own small business. And you guys need to go check her out if you haven't. Amazing, affordable products from an indie brand. And this shade is up my alley. I mean, perfect. It smells good. It wears good. The packaging on it, I mean, it is just very luxe. Does not, it doesn't feel cheap. None of that. So, I'm really, really enjoying this. This will be a repurchase. Do I have similar colors? Yes, I do. But, I will support my friends. Now, the inner corner, I just dabbed a little bit of that lightest shade that was in the palette, but I think I am going to dip into this L'Oreal Infallible, and I am going to wet this. And I'm doing this because I am going out. And now I'm going to take it on my finger. That's just really pretty. And I'm just going to kind of go over that ColourPop shade. It just lightened it a little bit. But because I'm going to be out and it's 81 degrees which for us this time of year is um, cool. <laughs> All right, everyone, this is the completed look. Um, Afro Mascara, really enjoy. The Infallible, I enjoy. The name of this is Always Pearl Pink. I am enjoying my makeup look today. So, I'm taking full advantage of it and going to go buy my sweet boy some school uniforms. If you like what you saw, please consider subscribing if you aren't. We have a lot of fun on this channel. We do a lot of get ready with, get a readies with me. We do a lot of I can't seem to talk. At any rate, remember, always be beautiful. Be kind, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.